gamers and welcome back to another video my nose is still stuffed but a new test place update come out, came out so i'm just gonna go over the change logs from top to bottom so starting with fixed plus p ammo renaming your gun to plus p yeah i'm gonna shoot people with plus p never mind <laughs> uh, aug scope clipping fixed adjusted 300 blackout ammo for the x95r little more rpm 800 to 850 and a little less recoil increase so yeah it's like a mm, i don't know it's something i i don't think i would use it anyways like i would just use the normal version since it's 950 rpm normally you know most ammo types now make ammo listed now men what? Most ammo types now make a ammo listed menu reflect the change, like when equipping 223 rem to a gun it will say it uses 223 rem. Okay. Some guns that previously previously couldn't equip the carry handle now can, and the handle uses M the M231 version. DCL 120 vertical size increased by 20%, fixed MC51 SD bolt clipping through guns. Gun. Fixed M4, M4A1, M16, A3 and M16, A4 BT placement. Made a flipped BT model to possibly be used on other guns. Okay, I'm just so you know, these are just miscellaneous stuff. The juicy stuff will come soon, alright? Fixed the PSO1 scope, rail version, clipping issue. MP1911 barrel attachment now properly attached to the slide. Twit skin zone for G3 slash MP5 families. HK21 and MC51 SD has new colors. Get to the jungle, okay? Honey Badger can now detach suppressor and equip other barrel attachments, including suppressors. Yeah, so this is one of the more juicy changes. The Honey Badger can now remove its integral suppressor and equip, like, let's say, a compensator, which is pretty cool, not gonna lie. AS Val, VSS, and SR3M change colors. New AK family, other mounts, so lasers don't clip into each other. New Weaker, Weaker suppressor barrel attachment. Think of it like a psionic suppressor for all guns. Free on the SR3M. And on especially on the SR3M, it sounds exactly like an AS Val. It basically is an AS Val. You turn your SR3M into an AS Val with the suppressor, you know? Like, it, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Due to major, ba major balancing and coding concerns, the original double drums for the M2P1 were made publicly, publicly unselectable, not removed, and for now replaced with a different approach to the double drums, subject, subject to change. So the new double drums has 100 bullets in a magazine and 100 reserve, 35 to 25 damage, 3 aim choke and 3 hip choke, and yeah. I don't know, it's it's weird, it's still weird. Got rid of Jason Red Aura again, and made the trail properly colored again. Please stay this time, angry face. EOTech 552 non, no longer used to carry handle mount on the M4 and M4A1. Center Deagle 44, other node, it was off the center. This wasn't stated in the change logs, but the SKS now has an extended magazine. Well, two extended magazines. One that gives it 30 bullets in the magazine, and one that gives it 45 bullets. It's kind of funny, kind of, eh, kind of funny, not gonna lie. Removed crosshair change on the chainsaw grip, caused in unintended accuracy, choke increases with shotguns. Yeah, like, you saw me made a, make a video about that. <laughs> B Wolf ECR slash TTR 556 ammo buff, less min damage loss. Example ECR min damage with 556 before changes, 19. ECR min damage with 556 after changes, 20. B Wolf 556 ammo, um, ammo also now boosts RPM by a very small amount. So it's from 780 to 800. So yeah, it's a very small amount. I, I really like this change, honestly. I feel like this you can use the B Wolf as a normal assault rifle now. Like, it's potent as a battle rifle and it's potent as an assault rifle what's next add like nine millimeter <laughs> nine millimeter ammo with an aim choke of three let's go g36 aug ak12 ak as well families were made so that lasers no longer clip into each other added silent ammo for 762 times 51 millimeter nato firearms works like a flash hider in ammo form Low recoil builds will love this. Fixed how some of the M4 and M16 rail covers would stay after equipping certain attachments. Added HK51B to public testing. Stats tweaked to be hopefully more balanced, find it under carbines. So it now has 41 to 22 damage with a 1.4 times headshot multiplier and a 1 times torso multiplier. It fires at 950 RPM, I think. 
has 100 bullets in the magazine and has garbage recoil. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a fun uh, carbine, if I'm going to be honest. It's a fun LMG in a way. Um, SVDS all time returns. Equip a sight to equip a sight and be be use your or irons as an all time. Yeah, so basically when you put a scope on it, so I for, for example I put a Leopold 6x scope on it, and if you press T, you will actually be able to aim with the iron sights that are under the actual scope mount, which is pretty cool. I guess it's very obstructive, but it could be used as like emergency CQC stuff, you know. Undid the shadow nerf of uh, to the 1911 man capacity back up back up to eight instead of seven. So yeah, I told Mar that the M M 1911 got shadow nerfed once again, and I didn't want to make a video about it. 1911 spare ammo increased from 48 to 56. Let's go. Honey Badger can detach its barrel now, and it, well, that was stated before. Added speed load speed loader attachment for every every revolver that can use a speed loader. Speeds up reload animation by 20%. So yeah, you reload faster now. I, I don't know. <laughs> Folded grip for SR3M. Comes with very minor unique stats. It's free though. I mean, I, I would just use a folding grip, not gonna lie. Remote plus PM from Scar PDW, unintended. Um, reduced intervention range to 75 from 150. Okay, it's official guys, the intervention is fucking dead, okay? It's- no, 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 no. 75 stud torso kill is nothing. It's nothing. The gun shoots 408 sh shay attack for god's sake. Make it 150 again, it didn't need a nerf, it wasn't too good. There's still like 5 snipers that are better than this piece of shit. Honestly, I can M5 right now. M107, Scout, Watt 1000, SVDS and Mosin. Like, the intervention is nothing now compared to anything. It's literally on, on par with the Hecate again. Like, wh what are you supposed to do with this? Oh my god, make it 150 again, please. And don't nerf it. Reduce TRG range 0 to 20 from 45. Oh, uh, you know, okay. I mean, I, I guess. I don't a new ammo type for the Steyr Scout. 556 conversion. Convert your scout into firing 556 x 45mm NATO ammo, offering a mix of uh, the extended mag plus 2 to 3. Still can one tap headshot over any range without suppressors. So, yeah, it decreases armor penetration, armor. No, wait, damage range, and muscle velocity. But you, you have 10 bullets in a magazine, and yeah, you have 10 bullets in a magazine. It's an extended mag. And I don't, I don't know, I think this is pretty cool, I guess. But I don't know if I, I, I would probably use it. Yeah, honestly. New attachment retracts retract stock added for the MP7. Main gimmick is better aim walk speed multi. So yeah, like COD Modern Warfare type beat. No, no, not Modern Warfare. I mean Half Life type beat. I think COD Modern Warfare also had that. Okay. Renamed X95 X95 R attachment. 300 AAC blackout to 300. 300 blackout conversion. Okay. Hecate uh, 2 muscle break now disappears with barrel attachments. Okay. A AK 103, AK 105, PPSH 41, SA 80 family, AUG family, FAMAS family, SCAR, SSR, SVU. Um, I think that is the, um, the color changes for the guns. Yeah, I think it's the color changes. <laughs> Vector can now take its stock off. Same stat boots as the boots as the retract scope. Doc. So yeah, it's a pistol now. It's a baby vector. I love it. I don't know. I, it's literally a baby vector. You can pew pew people like normally, but you it looks so small, honestly. And when you aim it, you don't even use the grip. You just hold it by the handle. <laughs> HK46 minorly buffed. Reload speed. Wait, did I miss the AWM? My the last thing they added was an a AWP, the AWP, the CSGO, you know? So there's a 308 conversion for the AWM, which basically makes it, makes it an AWP. It can hold 10 bullets in a magazine, has like 45 studs, 1 kill torso, it's pretty good. But it has lower muscle velocity. So you, you, you CSGO fanatics now finally have the AWP. It's pretty good, not gonna lie, it's like a better AWS in the end, honestly. So yeah. The AWP is finally in Phantom Forces. 
let's go! If you enjoyed the video, press the like button, buy my merch even if I don't have any, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.